What up, y'all? Not a bad room video, so I can't exactly get too loud as I usually would during my intro and all that. But welcome back. Uh, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys are staying safe, washing your hands, all that good stuff. Thank you for sticking with me through the uh, tough times that the channel is going through. I'm sorry, I had to make that joke because I realized in my last vid, it sounded as if the channel was going through tough times, but all it is is... I'm, I'm just taking my finals these two weeks, so I'm just not on it as much. But nevertheless, thank you for sticking with me through and through. You guys are great. But in this vid, we're going to talk about someone a bit more happy than my last vid. My last video update on DeAndre Baker. This one, something I, I should have done a couple days ago when it came out. Giants announced the jersey room numbers for the 2020 rookie class. And it's going to be, you know, kind of a short video, I guess. But just wanted to go through the numbers that these guys got. You know, this happens every year. Rookies are drafted. They got to get their jerseys. They got to get their numbers. They get their numbers. However, disclaimer in case you don't know, these can change by the time the season rolls around. You know, right now there's like, I, I don't know the exact numbers, between like 70 and 90 guys on the roster right now. As we all know, there's only 53 men on the roster entering the NFL season. So as of right now, because of that, uh, jersey numbers are not in place. <laughs> So some guy could have like say number 36 as a jersey right now, but by the time the season rolls around and if he's still on the team, that number could be 30 because somebody else on the team had 30 and the coaches want him to wear it for some reason. I don't know. Maybe there's a sentimental reason attached to it. But numbers that are given right now are not permanent and don't stick with the player um, until you know we see what they actually wear during the season. This happened with Julian Love last year. He had both 37 and 24. I uh, happened with Sam Beal for the past two years, both 23 and 41. I think Baker, I think he was 27 and 30 or something like that, or 35, 27 and 35. You know, so so it happens, you know, they're, they're giving the rookie numbers. Some of them stick with it, go through with like Saquon. He's at 26 ever since he stepped on the field for the Giants. Um, and some of them, they change. But let's go through the numbers. And if there's some sort of backstory behind them, I'll get into it. So first round pick. Number four overall, big old Andrew Thomas, 78. Thomas wore 71 in uh, college for Georgia, and people were thinking, you know, they were talking, is he going to get 71 in the NFL? Of course, as Giants fans, we knew once he he was taken by the Giants, that's not going to happen because big old Will Hernandez wore 71. But I thought they might have given him like 72 or something, you know, uh, like a number closer to 71, but I guess they went with 78. Nothing right now on the internet on whether or not there's some sort of sentimental or personal reason behind his number maybe it's just 78 maybe he's just a really practical guy and he's like ah, i don't really care what number i wear just give me a number but uh thomas is not going to be wearing 78 i'm not sure if this is going to change the first round pick numbers really don't change you know once again going back to saquon uh daniel jones i think even was given eight as his first number last year so yeah first round picks and i think he's going to stick with 78 uh Speaking of offensive linemen, Matt Pert, I know I'm skipping over McKinney, but I'm getting back to him. Matt Pert is wearing 74, which is a number for an offensive lineman that I have bad memories of. Eric Flowers wore 74 for the Giants. Now, Eric Flowers also wore 76, but once Solar came on board, Solar now wears 76, and then Flowers took 74. Still kind of bad memories with both numbers. Solar hasn't been the best. I hope that Matt Pert, uh, I hope one or two things happen. I hope that A, Matt Pert changes his number when he has the chance, or B, he has a way better flower, uh, career than Flowers, which I expect him to. And then going back to McKinney, our second round pick, he's wearing 29. Kind of a weird number, and, and really anything I say in this video is going to be weird because we're talking about numbers, guys. But of course, McKinney wore 15 at Alabama. And in the NFL, there's certain, you know, jersey rules, jersey number rules, like quarterbacks wear from 0 to like... 10 no no 0 to 19 i think and and like receivers are like 80 to 90 and also from 10 to 20 you know you know rules like that so 15 it's in the teens not something that secondary player would wear not something we expected him to wear 29 however something kind of weird i don't know uh we got 21 on one side with jabir preppers and now 29 on the other with mckinney for some reason i thought that 31 would have been a good number like 21-31, I thought that would have been a nice matchup. It would have looked good on him. Once again, a weird thing to say. I don't have a problem with the number 29. It's not like it's a person and it did anything wrong to me. It's just kind of weird. 
I don't know. Maybe you guys feel different, but not really a fan of 29 on McKinney. Darnay Holmes, wearing number 30, the fourth round slot cornerback out of UCLA. I think that's a good number on him. Uh, yeah, 30, fine with it. Let's see if there's any backstory actually as I scroll through this. Nope, no backstory, but there is an interesting one behind Shane Lemieux's number 66, which is a number we all know and love as Giants fans, 66. David Deal wore 66, two-time winning Super Bowl champion, two-time winning Super Bowl offensive lineman. With a number like that splattered on your back, I'm sure you're bound to have a good career, man. Shane Lemieux, I hope you live up to the Deal number and name. Um, and of course, you know, I think 66 was also the number that uh, Pittsburgh Penguins hockey star Mario Lemieux wore. Uh, say, they share the same name. I don't think they share any type of relation. A 66, good offensive line number. Got no problem with it. Hopefully we get two Super Bowls out of Lemieux like we did with Deal. Cam Brown, the 4-3 outside linebacker out of Penn State with 47. And with these linebacker numbers, I do kind of have a problem with them because I think the 40s, you know, just the 40 numbers in general from 40 to 49, I think they look ugly on linebackers. I really would wish that my linebackers wear either numbers from 50 to uh, 59 or, you know, in the 90s. But the 40s, for some reason, they just look disgusting to me. And Cam Brown is wearing 47. I think Ogletree wore 47 last year. Ogletree was an inside linebacker, but it still looked really bad. I don't know. I just do not like the 40s. Maybe the 40s did something to me in, in the past life or something. But the, the numbers that, you know, begin with four just look disgusting. It's just me. And he's an outside linebacker. I don't, I don't if he's going to be used as an outside linebacker, I don't want him to be wearing 47. If he's going to be used as a middle linebacker, which I think is going to be the case, I don't want to be reminded of Alec Ogletree. But the 40s numbers are just disgusting to me. Same goes for Carter Coughlin's 49. And there is a story behind his, you know, uh, 49 was the same number that Tom Coughlin, of course, our former head coach, wore while Tom Coughlin was playing at Syracuse. And that's all fine and dandy. That's a nice little story to put behind the number. But 49 is also another number that looks ugly, especially for an edge rusher, because that's what Card Coughlin is going to be for this team. He's going to be primarily used as an edge rusher, whether he's a starter or a backup, you know, rotational player, whatever the case is. I don't want to see a 49 rushing at somebody. I would rather see a, like a 59. You know, Lorenzo Carter has that. Maybe a 54. Uh, I don't think that number has been used since Olivier Vernon was off the team or like a 93. You know what I'm saying? Just I don't like the 40s, man. <laughs> And then to end it off, we got like three straight 30s. TJ Brunson, another linebacker with 35. Tay Crowder with 35. Chris Williamson, a cornerback with 31. Now on Brunson and um, Crowder, they're linebackers and they have numbers that are in the 30s. Like I said before, NFL, you know, they have their jersey number rules and whatnot. This tells me, you know, one of the following things. Because the 30s were reserved for secondary players, this tells me that A, these numbers for these guys are just placeholders like I was talking about before the numbers can change you know by the time the season rolls around if they make the team they're probably going to be wearing something different or B Joe Judge and Patrick Gahan see something out of these guys that we don't see you know they see something out of these linebackers that could lead them to believe they could be used as secondary players you know what I'm saying maybe they have better coverage skills than we thought they did and they'll be used in the secondary hence the secondary numbers or C the NFL number rule change thingy has been changed once again, and now the 30s can also go to linebackers. Uh, wouldn't be the first time something like that happened, because go back 20 years, you wouldn't really see a wide receiver wearing any numbers in the teens. It was all 80s. So if I were a betting man, I'd say it's probably the first one. These are just placeholder numbers, but don't be surprised if it's number three. You know, the NFL changing their rule number again. But the 30s on linebackers, it's weird to look at. It's definitely a better look than the 40s. I just hate the 40s, but it's weird to look at. You know, when I see 30, I'm thinking like a safety cornerback or something like that. And then Chris Williamson with his 31, was it? I think, yeah, with his 31, no problem with that. I, once again, I still think 31 would look better on McKinney, but Williamson, this, this could be another number that changes. I got no problem with 31. It's a nice enough number. So let me know what you guys think. As I said, this video was gonna get weird and it did indeed get weird i was out here ranting about numbers but let me know what you guys think about the rookie numbers who's do you think is going to change who's do you like who's do you hate put it all down below and i'm out 
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. Yer.